In this video, we are going to show the power of Rosetta DVT Studio and the secret behind it. So we'll start with the Get Started project. Let me import it. Now we have a clean project which already uses a connection to a DACDB database. To explore that DACDB database, I'll quickly navigate to the SQL Explorer. In total, we have four tables. Assuming that this is your raw layer, it can contain, like in our example, four tables, or it can have much more tables. You can have a raw layer with 40 or even more than that number of tables as part of your role layer. The Rosetta DVT Studio in background uses the Rosetta CLI open source project to be able to extract the metadata of the database connection, your source, and all the tables, the relationship between those tables and columns of your schema. So if we go and click the raw layer generation button. This will actually generate the DBT sources for us. The DBT sources will be very helpful in order to prepare our project for various DBT transformations and performing our analytics in the further steps. So in order to generate the raw layer, the complete process is done in background and it's driven by the Rosetta CLI, which is the open source project, which does the magic in behind it. So as a result of it, it generates these four files for us. All of these four files representing the four tables that we already saw in the SQL Explorer. And here we have the DBT sources. We have the name of the tables and their column lists with some data test logic already in place for those four existing tables that we had there. Usually, as a data engineer, performing this activity manually for a huge number of tables might be tricky and time consuming. And this is just the preparation step, which is completely done automatically with the help of the Rosetta DBT Studio IDE, which in background uses the Rosetta open source project. So how Rosetta does this, you can already explore this and see what is going on in background. If we expand the Rosetta directory, here we can see the name of the project, DBT Studio Getting Started. And right here, we can find the Rosetta's model.yaml, which actually has all the metadata for our database connection, which in this case is the DACDB scenario. So your database connection can be anything. And Rosetta is capable to extract the schema from any connection that is currently supported by Rosetta DBT Studio. So as soon as we have all this metadata, the AI is becoming more powerful whenever we use that for generating various other DBT layers in the future. Or we can exactly extract the DBT sources that we are going to use for further processing as part of our DBT project. So this was the first step. And the first step was mainly to generate the raw DBT sources. And uh, assume that you might have even more complex projects, regardless on the size of the tables that you might have, the process of generating the raw layer is just a matter of a couple of seconds. Moving forward and following that traditional approach of going from a raw layer to a staging layer to intermediate incremental or enhanced layer and finally to the business model or data Mars or analytics uh, layer, we can still use the power of Rosetta DBT Studio, its AI integration and the Rosetta open source CLI project to be able to generate all these layers within seconds. So if we navigate back to project, we can go ahead and click the staging layer. To generate a, Rosetta, to generate a DBT staging layer, we need to define or to specify 
for which dbt sources we want to do this if you are already on an existing project and your dbt sources are already in place you can use those your dbt sources can be located in a single file or they can be uh, spread across different files like in our scenario here so i'm selecting all my uh, raw layers and i also need to specify the output directory where i want to create my staging dbt models by default we are going to use the staging as a name for the directory i'm not planning to change that at the moment so i simply go ahead and generate the staging models another big advantage is that you can generate the staging layer within seconds because we have all the metadata for your database rosetta dbt studio is capable of generating these layers within seconds so uh, checking our dbt project now here we can see that we have the staging layer and all the files which needs to be part of this uh, directory. All of these do represent now dbt models. We can go ahead, explore them. Uh, we can modify them. We can use some AI features to for some basic transformations on top of them, or we can even go ahead and preview uh, the data before performing a dbt run command as part of this process. Again, uh, a very powerful tool that will support you on your daily activities that you have while doing various dbt modeling uh, of any transformation tasks that you might have moving forward if you have a project where the dbt sources are defined you have the staging layer but you want to you want to create your incremental layer you can create your enhanced layer you can go back to the project click the incremental enhanced layer and as an input, you need to provide the dbt models from which you want to generate these incremental models. Uh, I'm going to select all my staging models. I'll select everything that I have here that I generated in the previous step. And I can specify the location or the output path where I want to generate them. The default one is the enhanced. Uh, we'll keep the default one for now. And what it happens uh the rosetta dbt studio your id with the help of ai and the rosetta cli in background captures uh all these staging models dbt models and based on all the information that it has it is capable of generating for you the enhanced dbt models since uh, these are the incremental models we need to specify the unique column we also need to specify the incremental column and that is uh, usually something that data engineers define based on their needs that they have and based on the data and many other uh, criteria there. Uh, therefore, this is like a template at the moment where you can simply just go ahead and replace it. However, if you still want your uh, ID to support also in the process of determining the unique key column and incremental column, you can use the AI features of Rosetta DBT Studio to do that. So you can go ahead and run determine incremental and unique column for every model uh, that you want to. So this way, uh, AI will uh, analyze the metadata and all the details that it has and support for us. Uh, in this case, a, a course ID to be our unique key column at the same time course ID to be the incremental column because we don't have any timestamp column uh, to use here as an incremental one. So as part of this process, we can keep uh, doing the same thing for all our enhanced layer. However, as a data engineer, and if you use dbt for your transformation, uh, your next step is starting to think of creating fact tables or creating business models or performing some analytics or creating marts, however you want to call them. Again, Rosetta DBT Studio supports you with that activity as well. And in this case, since we know everything from the schema itself of your data up to a level of DBT sources, staging layer, enhanced incremental layer, now it's way, way much easier and simpler to be able to generate various uh, DBT business models based on your needs.
So Rosetta DBT Studio supports this by generating for you automatically the business layer and it generates one model at a time. What do you need to provide in order to do that? In order to generate a business layer, you simply need to click the business layer and you need to specify which models you want to use for the business model that you are creating next or for the fact table that you are planning to create or for the anal analytical model that you are planning to create. So uh, in a typical project, I would choose the enhanced layer. I would choose every model that I have here in the enhanced layer. And all I have to do is just specify what analytics I'm planning to perform based on my needs on my requirements Rosetta DBT Studio will know exactly how to combine those tables what columns to pick in order to be able to support my requirements and be able to build those dashboards in the future so uh, we can type something like generate me a business model to understand uh, student performance, for instance, uh, or it can be something to understand only course enrollments over time or to understand sales and so on, regardless on what you are interested in and what problems you want to solve. Uh, the power of Rosetta DBT Studio is that it can build business models with the help of AI and Rosetta CLI from any layer. It can also use your role layer as a basis. It can use your staging layer, it can use your enhanced layer, it can do a combination of both. So it depends on how you want to organize them and how you want to structure them. As an output, you are going to be the one to decide where you want to put this model. Since the output of this command will be a single DBT model, uh, there are projects that prefer to call it business, marts, analytics, however you want to call it. We'll generate the business model. And now in background, uh, it tries to solve your problem with the structure of data that we already have there and use as an input the list of models that we provided for this DBT model. And as you can see, it generated something called studentperformance.sql and studentperformance.sql is going to be some sort of uh, combination of student data, course data, grade data in order to be able to perform uh, give us answers related to those uh, details that we already had there. So uh, this is the power of Rosetta DBT Studio because it gives you the ability to go from your role layer to your business model within minutes. If you already know what you are planning to do and you want to use DBT as a tool for transformation, then Rosetta DBT Studio is going to be your ID to support you along every process of this path. So after you have your business model, you can continue and create additional business models, perform some changes there if you want. But the final piece is usually the process where you can go ahead and use AI again to generate analytics on top of the business model itself. It doesn't have to be a business model, but it can be any DBT model of your project on top of which you can generate analytics. So we can simply go ahead and click generate analytics. So since now the DBT studio has information about everything related to your project, and related to the requirements we had uh, to generate this business model. Now we can have some uh, building SQL queries here, which we can simply just copy, validate them, perform any modification if you want and start build dashboard or build reports uh, in order to solve our analytical requirements that might have for our company or our research that we are performing. So if we want the average grade by department, we want to see the number of students enrolled per semester, top five courses with highest grades and so on, or distribution of grades, anything related to the student performance is immediately given here. So it's uh, just up to us as data engineer to pick the most relevant information for our 
task.